for those seeking a small motorhome, I've got this one, 599 centimeters long, 223 wide, and 265 high. It is the Baxter from Florium. It is a two-person van, costs 62,200 euros. Let's have a look inside. Now, this company, Florium, does make some rather elegant designs internally, so that's uh, quite a, a positive point. And the negative front, and I want to say this immediately, is we've got this chair here, which is adding to clutter rather than anything else, in my opinion. It's a van which sleeps two people. You don't have to keep putting in as many chairs as you can. You've got two captain's uh, chairs up front, as you'd expect, and you've got an L-shaped uh, arrangement around the large table. That's very pleasant. There isn't a lot of room there to squeeze yourself through, though. So that's another reason why you don't really want to be adding clutter to something like this. The step up is somewhat high, then uh, the only solution of course though is to make the roof higher inside, which may not be something you necessarily want to do. This table, I know the manufacturer, um, goes up and down, they've even got electronic, this one isn't electronic, they've even got electronic ones that go up and down. I think that's a very uh, nice uh, piece of kit myself. Right, so I just want to show you this uh, step as well. Right, so I'm going to stand on the step now. I'm just looking back. Right, I'm standing on the step. I'm 175 centimeters tall. I'm touching the roof, but only just. So I think it's about 172, three, something like that. Um, I've got my head slightly bent, but it's not very bent. Okay, to the left, we have the kitchen, and we have this uh, uh, additional. Uh, space to, to it can be used if necessary so three burner hub obviously it's not a lot, a lot of room to actually prepare things at the table but that's to be understood they've taken out the fittings and I understand why uh, you've also got a bit of space up there to put spices and things there's an extractor up there here we Oh, and I can feel how I can feel how light that wood is as well. So the uh, this I think the, is very well done, very good quality material. Now it looks nice. The drawers are wide. You get lots of stuff in there. and sink. Now there's not a lot of room there between the toilet and the wall to get into the shower. Of course it's only six meters long. You can't expect too much. I think it's better to have the shower at the back anyway. And you've got more storage up there. Big mirror there. Shave yourself, no problem. You've got the sink down there, built into the shelf. Towel ring. I think a side bed, when you get on in life, isn't a bad idea. The problem is, is the lack of garage space. You can't get a bike on, you don't have a bike on the rear. Uh, you've got this here for hanging clothes up in. Which isn't a bad idea. And you've got this space under there. You don't, I don't think you need to uh, have to worry about things uh, being above your feet. Light switch there. Don't know why there's space in there. I wouldn't have to use the space up to the maximum. Maybe there's a reason. Very big freezer, very big fridge. Space for your television, and you can watch it while sitting at the uh, pilot's uh, captain's chairs. 
sorry, <laughs> starting to use the word in French. And so you've got skylight there as well. This is on a six speed Fiat base, though bought new. Well, you know, don't choose which engine and which gearbox configuration you want. As one would expect, there is of course a fly screen here. Okay, that's the toilet there. Let's come around. Now you'd have to put a bike rack on the back if, you, if that's what you wanted. And there's entrance to the garage. A bit of additional here. That would be for the gas. Boiler exhaust for each. So, uh, that's this van, and there's many more uh, on this uh, on my site. Many more I've filmed whilst being here at Dusseldorf and in other places Stuttgart, Birmingham, Warsaw, and others besides.